So, last week I showed you all how to make a fresh daiquiri. Hopefully some of you said, you know what, that sounds good. You went, you got some rum, you got some limes, uh, you made you a little simple syrup, which is one to one, sugar to water, and you heat it up, put it in a jar, and you're like, I'm making fresh daiquiris. And then maybe you got some strawberries, like Instacart. So I just ordered some strawberries from somewhere, and they came, and you're like, you know what? I wonder if a strawberry in a daiquiri would be good. I'm gonna say, yeah, that's right, it is good. So I'm gonna show you how to make strawberry daiquiri. Um, if you've ever had a strawberry daiquiri, it was probably some frozen drink at Chili's or Applebee's or something like that. It was really terrible. This is how to make a fresh daiquiri. The equipment is the exact same as last week, except you're gonna need something to uh, muddle the strawberry in the simple syrup to make like a strawberry syrup, okay? This is a muddler. You can use, um, like if you put the simple syrup in a, in a larger Tupperware bowl and, a, and a, use a, a glass or something on it, you can totally do that. Whatever you need to kind of crush down that strawberry, okay? Don't puree it up. Don't put it in a blender. Don't do any of that. So here's how I do it. Um, you cut the top off of strawberry, and you only need one, and you're going to throw that in your tin. You're going to take your simple syrup, get that out of the way, and same measurements as last week. Three quarter of an ounce of simple syrup in there. So before you do anything else, you're going to take your stick or your um, rolling pin or whatever you have, and you're going to... Just kind of gently but firmly crush the strawberries into the syrup. You just need a little bit there, and it kind of looks like that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it looks like. And then the rest of the ingredients are the exact same. It's three quarter ounce of lime juice. And remember, we always use fresh squeezed. We don't use any fake stuff that you get at the grocery store. That stuff that comes in a plastic container, do not use that. All right. And then you're going to use two ounces of rum. Um, I have white rum here. On, on this recipe, you can. Have, I've used a little bit of aged rum before, and it's pretty good. You throw that in there, and then we're going to throw some ice in there. Just, uh, you just need to bring it halfway on that. Lock it down. Just like 10 seconds. And if it sticks, you just kind of hit it like that. And then on this one, you know, I double strained it last week. You do need to double strain this one to get kind of all those bits out of there. And you need to kind of shake it around and get all, all of it out. And you're going to put the rest of it in there. And then on this one to garnish, what I usually do is take a smaller strawberry and cut it in half and then cut two little notches on there and just put one there. One there, like that, and that is a fresh homemade strawberry daiquiri. So let me give it a taste. That is wonderful. That is dangerously wonderful. Um, if there's anything cocktail you want to see, let me know, comment, and if I have the ingredients, I'll make it. I may do this every Thursday night so you can get ready for your Friday virtual happy hours. Um, thanks for watching.